Some southern states, believing that Lincoln's election would lead to the end of slavery throughout the country, threaten to leave the Union if Lincoln wins. South Carolina is first to secede on December 20th, 1860. Soon roads converge, excellent for massing forces. A series of ridges and hills offer strong defensive positions. Buford deploys outposts north, east, and west of town and settles in with his small force of 2,900. Late that night, Buford's messenger reports Confederate locations to General John Reynolds, commander of the nearest Union infantry. Buford knows the next day could bring battle. He hopes reinforcements will come first. On July 1st, 1863, at 7.30 a.m., a Confederate column commanded by General Henry Heath approaches town on the Chambersburg Road. He believes Union troops are still miles away, that Gettysburg is guarded only by local militia. A Union lookout sights the Confederates three miles west of town. Lieutenant Marcellus Jones sends a messenger back to General Buford, rests a carbine on the fence, and fires. The Confederates immediately deploy a skirmish line and advance slowly through fields and woods and over fences. Buford's cavalry executes a series of delaying tactics, fighting, then dropping back from one ridge to the next. They are severely outnumbered, but the cavalry carbines can fire twice as fast as the muskets of the Confederate infantry. The line drops back to McPherson's Ridge, Buford cannot hold out for much longer. General John Reynolds arrived with reinforcements in the nick of time. He immediately grasps the value of the Union position and commits his infantry to defend it. Now there is no turning back from a battle at Gettysburg. By mid-afternoon, thousands more soldiers have streamed into positions on both sides. Confederates outnumber Union troops. General Lee and the Commander. 
남쪽에 대해서 국제에 대해서 다 이어내야 돼.